wait to see him. So I just did a solo on the drums, on my congas. Could you do a little solo on your drum, whatever you've got that's joining in with us? Can you do a solo? And we'll groove along. solo from El Nino, a cowbell solo, are you ready to go? One, two, three, four. having a great fun Friday feeling today. Um, you see, we, we've renamed ourselves um, all with Spanish Cuban sounding names today. Um, and because um, we thought we're having a bit of fun, this is Friday, it's great. And we're really excited to do all this drumming together. Do you remember all these Cuban rhythms that we've learned so far? Let's just recap them. The first one we learned was Fred. That was Fred's rhythm, wasn't it? So um, let's just um, see if we can make Fred spotlighted so we can see you Fred there we go we can see you and uh, here we go so let's have we can see we can hear you so show us Fred what to do we're gonna go play clap play like this play clap play like this brilliant that's great so um, remember the clave is um, the clave is the name of the instrument um, but also um, it's that rhythm as well so what else did we have as well as um, the the clave what else do we oh we learned we had Raoul teaching us something as well didn't we so um, let's see Raoul let me spotlight you what was the bongo part that we learned that you taught us hello do you remember the thumb goes down first and then one and two and three and four and one and two and three that was the first lesson do you remember that and four and then the second one we added um something on the and four remember one and two and three and four one and two and oh let's go a little fast one and two and three and four yeah oh do it with me yes oh great Wonderful. Oh, you guys are great. Sounded brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. You can tell we're having tremendous fun this afternoon. You know what's really funny is that I'm trying to spotlight everybody, but because we've renamed each other, um, I, I can't, it's, it's making it much harder for me to work out who the spotlight. So tell you what, the next one, um, I, <laughs> the next thing we learned was the conga pattern. Um, and remember, I taught the conga pattern. So um, here's my congas here, I'm just lifting up here. So remember, it was one slap, two conga, one slap, two conga. And then we do the conga with the other hand because that's the other drum. One slap, two conga, 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 one slap, two conga. Great. And remember we also said for either that bongo part or the conga part, if you have maybe some upturned saucepans or maybe some upturned bowls or um, something you've got that you could be using of different sizes, see if you can get the different sounds from that. You could be doing that uh, at home as well. So, um, who haven't we seen yet? Ah, Tim. El Timbo. El Timbo today. So, let me... Um, Spotlight, Tim. So, Tim, how does your part go? Oh, my part is perhaps the easiest to learn, but perhaps the most difficult to play because you have to get control of your shakers. So, find a way of making your shakers make this sound. Left, right, left. Play my rackers. Play my rackers. Play my rackers. Or even play my rackers. Play my rackers. Play my rackers. Play my rackers. You go brilliant thank you very much tim that's great uh, so 
We've got one person left. Who is left? Ah, El Nino. Here we go. So uh, show us, El Nino, what is your part? That you're Hello, everyone. Hosting? So our rhythm, our cowbell rhythm goes like this. One, Cuba, two, Cuba, three, and four. Cuba, one, Cuba, two, Cuba, three, and four. Cuba, one, Cuba. Brilliant, thank you, El Nino. So, if we don't have anything to play, how would we do that as body percussion? So, can we have our hand like this? So, imagine that here we are going to play the low pitch sound one, and here we are going to play the other notes one, Cuba, two, Cuba, three, and four, Cuba, one, Cuba, two, Cuba, three, and four, Cuba, one, Cuba, two, Cuba. And for Cuba. Thank you very much. Great. So uh, let's then put everyone all together. So you can choose whichever part you want to do. You can do Alfredo's part, El Timbo's part, El Compadre's part, El Nino or El Maestro's part, whichever one you want to put in today. We're very happy. And in fact, like we said before, you could swap around in the middle while we're playing it all through. If you want to suddenly swap to a different one, maybe try and do one you haven't done before as well. That's great. Shall we give it a go? Here we go. Oh, hang on, let me get it. Oh, hang on, hang on, I'll get the right one in a minute. Here we go. Two, three, go! <laughs> one Cuban instrument that we haven't yet looked at, that we haven't demonstrated. Um, part of the reason why I haven't demonstrated it because it's actually it's quite hard to be able to replicate one of these at home if you don't have the real thing. But El Compadre, um, Raul <laughs> today, he's got one. So Raul, can you show us what it is and what is it called? Well, here we are. This is actually, is a modern instrument was made um, by Martin, the chap that uh, started LP, and was made in 1950. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, as you can see, it's got beads on it. I don't know if you can actually see the beads. They're quite tight. So you can whirl it around and get a little sound. But the, the most thing is you rest it on your hand uh, and just go. You can have accents or a little more rhythm. Or more, uh, uh, uh. so you can actually imitate the rhythm of the club is it's like play club, like this, play club, play music. And does it remind you of one thing that we were using the fork for? Do you remember? Great. What was the name? The Guiro, that's right. Great, Guiro, great, Guiro. And then you can just shake it. I don't know if you can hear it. And then you can just put your hand to have an accent. That's it. On two and four. Two, two, four. One, two. And then maybe you can add some more accents like. But if you, you can go. Great. Or even other. Or you can go. Cabasa. 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 Wow. Yes. Thank you very much.
Um, that's brilliant, Raoul. We're very, very grateful for that, for demonstrating that. Really fun. Um, right. So, um, shall we put everything together? But I tell you what, we realise as well, there's something else we added in yesterday that we haven't yet done today. Some instruments. It wasn't the guiro. It wasn't the cowbell, the clave, the maracas, the congas, the bongos. It was something that can, isn't a percussion instrument. Do you remember? In fact, there were two things really that we added in. Do you remember what they were? Uh, so yeah, well let's see. Well let's see if we can add it in this time. And if we play the track this time, then you might be able to pick up what it is. Um, but Raoul can't play the bongos in this one. Um, he has to play something different. Um, so shall we try? Shall we put? Uh, uh, oh yeah, I can tell you that one. Yeah, we'll, we'll come to that in a minute. That looks a bit like a snake. I hope it's not a snake. Um, so shall we have a go at putting everyone all together? Here we go, after four. Are you ready? Here we go. Two, three, four. to know um, we would love to know we've been doing this for a couple of weeks now I think this might be our third week of doing this and we have covered quite a few different styles of music so this week has all been Cuban and let's think what did we do last week um, maybe some of my friends can remind me what was it last week oh what was it North African was that what we did last week yeah, so no, I can see El Timbo's nodding away there um, so yes we did North African last week and what did we do before that we did a oh, West African from West African drumming with the djembes and things and then we also did some samba from Brazil. We would love you if you can put on the comments on YouTube, out of those different things we did, the samba, West African, North African, and Cuban, which has been your favorite? Which did you enjoy the most? Now maybe, you know, some of you I know who've been watching, have been very faithful watching us every single day do this, which has been lovely. Um, but maybe you haven't, so maybe you haven't seen all of them, so maybe you need to go back and watch on the playlist on YouTube so you can see all these different ones we've done, because, you know, it's now adding up to several hours worth of drumming we've been putting on there. It's amazing. It's been brilliant. So have a look through. Can you write in the YouTube comments which has been your favourite? Because the reason why we're asking that is because we don't know what to do next week yet. We haven't yet decided. And whichever one is the most popular that people say, I want to do that again, or oh, that was my favourite, that's the one that we will do and learn some more of next week. Now, do you remember there was one day this week that Fred was not with us? And what Fred was doing, um, one of the things he was doing was, do you also remember, I showed you at one point in the screen behind me, I had um, the image of a, a queue of people and then a sheep barring, so it was queue bar, that sort of thing. Well look, here we go, this is what Fred put together. Look, Fred put a whole little quiz together for us. Look at that. So here are some countries there. So you might want to do a little screen grab of that. Each one of those is a country. Now, you know number four. Number four is the queue and the bar. But you need to see if you can work out what all the other ones are. And tell you what you could do on our social media channels. We're going to put this image up on our social media as well. Could you, on our social media channel, either on Facebook or on Instagram or Twitter, can you then please write what you think each number country is, or each, each one of those images, what are they? So we know number four is Cuba. They're all kind of a similar idea. See if you can work out any of them as well. That would be great. Our social media channels, they are all at Instagram, so at Inspireworks UK. That's what they all are. So that's the same on Instagram or on Twitter or on Facebook as well. You'll find us there as well. Hey, shall we have a go at playing everything all together? Let's just see if there's any comments if anyone said <laughs> what they've enjoyed. Um, ah, there we go. So we've got some people saying they like the Cuban. The Cuban seems to be winning at the moment, um, which is really good. Well, someone said they like the Samba as well. Okay, we'll leave that open for a bit and see who else, uh, what else other people like, because we can learn some more next week. Shall we have another go at playing through our whole piece once more? We've got Raoul 
on our trumpet row. Can we just hear a little bit of trumpet? <laughs> Is it working? It is, just just about. Yes, that's good. Um, great. And then, um, let's hear, El Nino, can we hear a little bit of cowbell? <laughs> Lovely. El Timbo, can we hear a bit of maracas? El Fredo, can we hear a bit of clave? That is a little bit of clave. And then um, I've got the congas. So we're going to put it all together and we are going to put everything with um, the trumpet, with all the drums, and we're going to have one final go through our piece of music, our lovely cha-cha-cha that we're learning that comes from Cuba. Here we go. Two, three, go! <laughs> Trumpet needs a bit of harmony. Here comes the ending. Thank you so much for joining us. As you can tell, we've all gone a bit silly today for some reason. We're having lots of fun. We do have so much fun doing this. And, you know, we do this because we love it. But, you know, we would love to get paid for doing this kind of stuff as well. So, you know, we, before we've said we're a bit like buskers, but really we like to think we are professors of sound professors of rhythm maybe so you know you might want to be able to give a teacher you know a bit of money to say thank you for teaching us stuff so we have a paypal address if you are able to donate any money to us because we're not really getting much income at the moment being self-employed musicians the paypal address is paypal.me forward slash inspire works uh, then that'd be great if you could um, donate some money to us that'd be great thing it's in the description of the video there hey shall we play through our piece once more can you get some moving it if there is someone in your house at the moment perhaps it's a grown-up and the grown-up hasn't really been joining in yet could you tell them now is their opportunity to demonstrate their best cha-cha-cha dancing skills and we want to see them move all around your living room, wherever you are. We want to see them do lots of dancing. And if you can video them, that'd be even better, because then you can post that on our social media channels as well. So we can see them doing that, that'd be great. Shall we give it a go? Here we go. Two, three, go! <laughs> everybody we hope you have you really enjoyed your time with us today and we will see you next week and we'll be doing whatever music you have chosen for us to do um, by putting comments on youtube as well remember to look at our social media so see if you can work out the quizzes as well thanks very much everybody